Good morning. It is November 1st, 2022, and I wanted to welcome you to my video series. My name is Bobby, Bobby Vizolet, and I am sharing my story. And just to recap, I am sharing my story of health and recovery and faith. My name is Bobby. I was recently diagnosed with stage four breast cancer, which is estrogen positive, HR negative. And the reason why I found out, how I found out one day in August, I was feeling some back pain. And I thought, well, this is gonna go away. But when I woke up the next day, I couldn't get out of bed and I was bedridden for a month. So during that time, I had gone to the ER just to see what was wrong because I couldn't get out of bed a few days. I said, that's it, I'm gonna check it out. And they did a CAT scan and a breast examination and found a tumor in the breast and also it has metastasized to the back. So I never even knew I had it. But once I found out, I thought, boy, this, it was a shock. And I thought, well, instead of sitting there crying about it, I'm gonna do something about it. So I really got down and prayed and asked God, you know, what do I do about this? And I really believed that I was uh, shown videos to watch. I was watching Dr. Berg and I learned about fasting and dieting and um, praying, you know, believe, uh, John 14, 14 says, pray and believe and you'll have whatever you ask, it says. Uh, Jesus says, whatever you ask, you'll have it if you believe. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and believe. And even if I have the faith of a mustard seed, I'm just gonna take that and, and believe it, you know, just on faith, say, okay, I'm excited it says that. And so I've been finding out a lot of videos out there that actually show people that have beaten cancer. So I thought, well, what do they do to beat this? You know, what do they do to beat something like that? So I started researching and I started the keto diet. I, it's uh, December 1st and that was back on uh, July 24th. I since lost a total of 45 pounds I don't eat any sugar. I um, drink a lot of vegetable juice. I also fast. And I take walks every morning. And I really try to speed up my walk. I also do exercises every day. And I make a schedule and I continue what I'm doing. I just monitor and make sure that I get it plenty of rest. You can see they have the Christmas decorations up. Pretty nice. And here is the crosswalk. You'll see, let me see, El Avila's El Ranchito, which they have the best Mexican food. I went there quite a bit. Uh, they have great uh, enchiladas, tacos, you name it. Um, across the street, there's H&H &H Cottons. That place has a lot of good music and it's just, you know, just nice to walk even in the morning. So it's about eight o'clock right now and I'm, you know, ta taking my walk. And on my way, while I'm walking, I'll go to a bench and do some push-ups. I'll do some lunges. And then when I go home, I do more of the weight-bearing exercises. But uh, this is just the little travels of my walk. And um, I'm going to walk to the beach. Oh, by the way, here's the beach fire. And they have a lot of music that's played here. They also have karaoke, which is really fun. And I love this little restaurant. Sometimes I come in here and watch bands. It's a fun little place to dance in there, if you could see it. And they have really cool paintings there, too. So it's a fun little place to go. And uh, I'm just continuing on my walk. Time in my video, I'm showing some of the good restaurants. Mongo Nut, they have great coconut soup. That's one of my favorite soups. There's a nice little wine bar. I went there once for some, well, actually a couple times for wine and cheese. That's really a good place. They're open these hours. So it's kind of nice to get together with friends, talk and have some wine and cheese. This is a nice little antique shop. They have a lot of 
cute little items like shells and, and beach stuff, you know, mermaids and, and all kinds of fun uh, things to look at. And here's an image center, so when you want to look nice, they have this type of thing. Uh, vacuum cleaner, downtown boutique, which is a fun place. And then they have a pizza place, food and beer. You know, it's a pretty nice library. So it's a fairly small town, but quaint. And uh, people come to San Clemente every year. They have a couple festivals. So, you know, I'm just glad to live here. It's, it's a nice place. Okay, here it goes. I'm going to found a place to do my lunges. So I am going to start doing my lunges. What I do is I put my coffee down first because I don't want to spill my coffee. It's a bulletproof coffee with MCT oil, a tablespoon, mild blend coffee, creamer, cinnamon. Now sometimes I put cocoa in there, but Usually I kind of try to save it for nighttime, but then I don't drink a lot of coffee at night. So only when I'm in the mood for the cocoa, but these are the lunges. I just do about three sets of 10 right now, but I'm working my way up, but it's important to do them slow so you can feel it. And then that makes your bones grow. So this is a, actually an osteoporosis exercise. And the reason why I do these exercises is because I'm on two medications what is anastrozol, and it does affect the bones, and also eyebrows. So what I do to counteract that, I drink wheatgrass every day, I take chlorella and spirulina, I eat cruciferous vegetables, and I do exercises, but ones that aren't painful. My doctor, who is Dr. Wagner, oncologist, great doctor, he says, you can exercise, but just make sure it's not hurting you. So. That was good news to me. I found out that getting oxygen really helps with any kind of ailments. And so I'm using that strategy. But here they are. It is, I didn't count them yet, so I better start counting. Okay, I made it to the beach. There's surfers out today and it's a beautiful day today. You can see there's the train tracks. Train isn't here yet, but it usually rolls by here from time to time. And I'm going to walk on the beach a little bit and then go back. So that's kind of my routine. I always collect a rock, but I wait to go to the shoreline before I collect my rock. I have a um, a solar fountain at home and I put the rock in my solar fountain. Sometimes I collect one rock, sometimes I collect two, but I figure in 365 days I'll have 365 plus rocks. So this is the beach. I just wanted to say I hope everyone has a blessed day today and um, that's it for today. Stay tuned for more.